Space Explorers between the lines in three, two, one, go. Qualification match number 19 is underway with three Red Alliance robots moving past the half line. They all have hatch panels in their possession. Cleveland's team places one, as does Robots over Barbara. And Stellar Robotics looking like they all got it off before the sandstorm period. Now after the period ends, drivers have full view of the field. And Laker Robotics takes full advantage of that, placing a cargo pod in the ship on the far side for the Blue Alliance. Cleveland's team wrangles a piece of cargo into the ship. They'll track down another one. Even now it looked like it was going to bounce off the field. Cleveland's team headed back to the ship, placing it one more time. Over on the Blue Alliance side of the field, Laker Robotics still working with that cargo. Their teammates, Demotech, look to be chasing down a cargo pod as well. On the Red Alliance side of the field, this side rocket is filling up rather quickly. Team 5413 placing some hatch panels. Now robots over Parma placing cargo and the bottom level is filled up. Second level has all of its hatch panels. And the third level still needs one more hatch panel. Cleveland's team grabs a piece of cargo for the Red Alliance and places it or looks to place it on that second level doing so successfully. That red rocket might fill up pretty quick. Less than 60 seconds to go, but they are almost there. Back over on the blue line side of the field, team 15-59, Devil Tech. They're also working on the rocket. Theirs is on the near side. Looks like this, they will place that hatch panel successfully. This far side Red Alliance rocket just needs two more pieces of cargo, and all three Red Alliance robots have cargo. First, it's up and in from 5413, Stellar Robotics. Just one more piece of cargo needed. Looks like it's on its way in, and it just drops out. 20 seconds to go. Stellar Robotics. Second level, as is Team 6355, Robots 